guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today, finally with Sneak Peek 1 for Clash of Clans. We have a ton of new stuff to discuss, uh, from new troop levels to new defense levels. There's just a ton of stuff to balancing changes. So I brought on Beaker from Beaker's Lab. You guys know him. He's a great guest. He's been on the channel a few times before. Before we hop into it, we had like a half an hour long conversation. So I know some of you guys just kind of want the meat and potatoes don't want to stay for the entire conversation but for those who do we are going to show all the new content from the dev build if you want to take a look and get our takes on how this will impact the game please I invite you to stay tuned otherwise I will include right now on the screen just a list of all the new content but if you're staying with us please sit back grab a drink grab a coffee grab a beer and enjoy the conversation so we're going to check out a sneak peek today we've actually got the first one right and we got ash on today what's up ash Beaker, what's up, man? What's up, dude? So me, me and Ash, we chat a lot about what's going on with Clash, and we're pretty much going to do that today. We're going to talk about what's coming next. What, what's, what's coming next, Ash? You always explain it to me. Like I never know what's going on. Wanted to start with the new wizard level? Yeah, dude. So I put a bunch of this stuff in my camps already. This stuff looks sick. I mean, I yeah. think you got like a little time to check it out, but you, you haven't seen it as much as I have. The no. wizard looks pretty dope. So there's a new level of the wizard. Yes, a le right. level 7 wizard, and it's available at Town Hall 10, and level 6 wizard gets a hit point and damage buff. So uh, a lot of uh, love to the wizards in this update for sure. I like the new style of the wizard. Uh, you're a fan? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's pretty sick. I mean, it looks obviously pretty similar, but, you know, it, it's just a little different, enough that you can tell. I kind of like that. Like, when they did the new giant, it was the same thing. It was just like a little bit, you know, a little bit of difference. Not yeah, much, yeah, it's, it's, but, I like that. I like the subtlety of it, yeah. but, uh, but I think yeah. the, the buff and the new level is, is much needed, and I think that, I mean, you're the farming expert here with uh, 15 accounts with a maxed out gold grab, <laughs> but uh, I think this is big for farmers, too, because, you know, you can really... Yeah. You can really do like a super, for Town Hall 10 and 11, you can go ahead and get in there with like a super queen, uh, queen walk, and then do a total elixir army, throw in a yeah. few wizards, and uh, and there's also, we'll get to it, there's a bunch of new stuff. I mean, this is a huge sneak peek in yeah. terms of the amount of content in it, so the uh, the wizard uh, co cook time is also reduced, so we'll get to that later on, but I think wizards I will finally be seeing a little bit of a resurgence. Yeah, dude, I mean, since the beginning of time, they've always been kind of like a, a pushing troop. Like, you might use some of the clan castle, that's about it for farming. But yeah, yeah. dude, you're right. Like, that would, that would be sick. Yeah, a little for, diversity, too. I yeah. think they can, you know, you might see that, start to see them pop up more other than just funneling in high-level war attacks. So yeah. we'll have to wait and see, but I think that you could totally see some wizards giving a little bit more diversity to the high-end war attacks at Town Hall yeah. 10 and 11 instead of just bowlers and miners, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been rough lately, dude. Yes. Like, anybody who plays Clash right now knows... I mean, you know, the game has been the same for so long. Not only that, it's sort of gotten a rut with, like, the same two troops. Yes. Like, miners, bowlers. And that's why I'm a big <laughs> fan of today's sneak peek. Uh, almost yeah. as much as the rest of them, because there's just so much in terms of you can tell the Clash team is making that effort to add the diversity. And that kind of takes us to the next one here, which is a, uh, a new Tesla level, level 9 oh, Teslas. Dude. And they look pretty badass. They're pretty it, awesome looking. It's crazy, <laughs> yeah. They're intimidating. Tesla's already one of the most powerful defenses in the entire game. Yeah. And I think now they're just going to be incredible. And they look uh, awesome. I, I love it. And yeah. totally noteworthy here is they're also totally removing the double damage to P.E.K.K.A. Hoping to yeah. give P.E.K.K.A. a little bit of a resurgence too of usage. So what do you think? I, I, at first, when you first told me that, I literally first heard that from you because I don't pay attention to anything. And I was like, why, why would they remove that? But yeah, you're right, dude. It makes sense. Like, who yeah, because uses Pekka's, I mean, dude, yeah. Pekka's get the, they get the real short end of the, end of the stick. And not only are they under underused or rarely used, but yeah. you also get like made fun of if you use a Pekka, <laughs> right? In like Clan War. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Like, if, if you have three packages, you, you're kind of newbie. I, I typically do make fun of people that are using Go Wipe. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, against... how many clans out there are like, no Pekkas, no Go Wipe allowed? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. think the poor Pekka, you know, we got to remove the stigmatism against Pekkas. So, yeah. hopefully this is a step in the right direction. I don't think it's enough, but, uh, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Right, I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, the, the Pekkas should be sick, but I don't know. I mean, I, I guess, especially with the Tesla when it had double damage... 
I think that was actually the biggest thing holding the pe the Pekka back. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't you? yeah, you get a Pekka to the core and it's like bye bye yeah. Pekka. It's like four four Teslas hitting it for double damage each. So. I, yeah, dude, yeah. I I think that's perfect. I, I think that's actually gonna help. But w what do you think about the Expo? Like, I, well, I think this is scary. Well, I yeah, I mean, the new Expo is is yeah, it's a little into. I mean, I think I love all the new artwork for all the new levels. Yeah, and the new, the Expo and the Tesla and the Mortar, which we'll get to. We yeah, kind of got to go in order here, I guess. But uh, yeah. yeah, so the new level expos are uh, obviously for Town Hall 11 only, right? I'm, I'm yeah. that right. Yeah, There's yeah. So this many, is... a big list here to go over, but yeah. yeah. So the new expos level five for Town Hall 11 only. And uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty intimidating. I think that it's going to, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure the new expos needed, or I'm not no. sure they're really needed right now, but no. I don't know. It's going to make things even more difficult for Queen Walks, that's for yeah. sure. That's all I can think about. Like 110 yeah. damage per second, and you got four of them now. Like yes. anytime, anytime you change the expo, it's like, come on, dude. Just like, <laughs> just like punch me in the face. Because like any, anything you do is gonna, is really affected by it. Because there's four of them. Yeah, I there's can't four. say I'm a huge fan of the of the new expo. I mean, yeah. people are gonna say that, yeah, sure, Ash and Beer, why are you hating on it? But you know, it's been a long time since expo has expos have gotten a new level, and that's true. But like yeah. you said, they've gotten a fourth expo though, you know, and they've gotten yeah. buffed along the way. They've gotten buffed recently. Yes, like really recently. That that's yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so that's a thumbs down on me. I don't like that, but <laughs> yeah. but there's a lot more thumbs up coming. So. Yeah. Uh, moving along, new mortar level, uh, level ten hey, mortar. Uh, speaking of badass, uh, you know aesthetics. What do you think yeah. of the mortar? Oh, it's pretty sick. Yeah. But a little little side note, I think my mortars are like level eight. So oh. I, I mean, I, I'm not even, I'm not even, uh, You've got even to gonna get this. Those in, man. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get this. Like I, I don't know why I. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not like anti mortar, but I, I just never upgraded them. Well, I don't Beaker's know. Well, Beaker's audience, you're gonna have to. Oh, what, <laughs> you're talking about your your dev account, uh, right? Uh, I'm talking about on the biggest on uh, on my biggest account. The, no way. The one I play on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I never Dude, upgraded. I you were 100 maxed. No, there's a couple things I just never cared about. No way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You learn something yeah. new every day, I guess. Yeah. I thought I knew you. I thought I knew you, Beaker. <laughs> Uh, you, so, yeah. you well, thought anyway, so. the mortar, new level 10, and that's for Town Hall 11 only. Yeah. And level 8 and 9 has seen a damage increase. Uh, right. They go on to say that the mortar has fallen behind the defensive curve, and that's probably an understatement. Uh, a yeah. boost to later levels and the new mortar level 10 will hopefully give mortar a uh, back its punch. And I think that they kind of hit the nail on the head. Mortar's pretty useless, uh, especially at Town yeah. Hall 11 with the Grand Warden. And I mean... You're right. not really worrying too much about mortars right now. Right. That's why I never upgraded yeah. them. I mean, okay, so right now this thing says 20 damage per second. That's that's massive. I mean, I, I, th I remember when these things used to say like 10 or 12. So, you know, we're talking about, I, I can't really remember what level is what at yeah. this point, but I think this is pretty big increase we'll, we'll yeah see. i think that's i think it's much needed again i mean splash yeah. damage is definitely one of the, it should be one of the biggest deterrents to spam yeah. attacks yeah. and it's something that you know has been very underwhelming the splash damage you know except right. for wizard towers but wizard towers are carrying basically the entire burden of splash damage on yeah. their shoulders so i think this would this is definitely needed i give this one a thumbs up uh yeah Moving along, Baby Dragon level 5 at Town Hall 11, and they're, they're going to go ahead and bump level 4 up to Town Hall 10. Or, yeah, that's pretty or, cool. Or down I mean, Town Hall 10, I don't know how you say it. Right. You Dude, get Town, it. Town Hall 10 needs some love. Like, Yes. Let's be honest, Town Hall 10 kind of sucks right now. I feel so I, bad for Town Hall 10ers, you know? like. Yeah. And I go to do War Recaps sometimes, and I'm like, man, there's no Town Hall 10 attacks because... It's no. either dips by Town Hall 11s or Town Hall 10s hitting Town Hall 11s for two stars, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, but I do think that I like how they're giving Town Hall 10 some love here, too, when they're yeah, adding dude. the new content to Town Hall 11. So, Dr Baby Dragons level 5, they look pretty cool, the new Baby Dragons. <laughs> I like the look They look of ridiculous. Them. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to say about the new Baby Dragons, I guess. Any, any yeah. further thoughts? No, I mean, I, I don't ever use them. But they're cool. <laughs> uh, I use them pretty often for to help on funnels. That's, yeah, that's about it, you know. You're barely you're barely using it. I mean, yes, yeah. You're you using know? like one or two. Uh, that's yeah, what I use. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at Town Hall nine and ten, you see them used a little bit more. But uh, yeah. Town Hall eleven, I, I use maybe one or two. But uh, 
Now, these are the like, big... This is this is big for me, these next two items here. And I think hmm. this is sorely needed. I'm very excited. Two big thumbs up here for me. And that is the skeleton spell buff and the clone spell buff. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually use the clone spell in a in a little demonstration right now while oh, we're nice. talking. Yeah. So, um, so what's up with the clone spell anyway? You sort of mentioned it earlier, but yeah. What's... Well, the, the the power of the clone spell comes from effective. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to read the the blog post and I, I lost track. Okay. The power of the clone spell comes from a effective positioning. Longer troop lifetime will bolster bolster <laughs> well placed clones. So that's their way of saying that it lasts longer. And okay. They say it lasts dramatically longer. They said we can't share the numbers, unfortunately, right now. But uh, you can probably see from the demonstration that it's definitely a significant increase in time. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, man. Like yeah. I just spammed a ton of dragons and baby dragons, and I think, wow, <laughs> I, it, you can't even really you can't even really tell. But it looks like it actually does something now. The clone spell kind of sucked when it first came out. I mean, it was a cool idea. Yeah. yeah. Like that's about it. You nailed it on the head. I think the concept was awesome. I think the execution and the cost was I, and i got this wrong i got this totally wrong i thought initially that the clone spell would be amazing even at the four cost and i was in the minority but yeah, i had to totally eat crow because it was just not the case i mean you can always get better value out of adding yeah. two two spell slot spells you know so yeah, hopefully this changes things yeah, like you, you, you are always like backing something. Not always. I mean, I, but like when the bowler first came out, you're like, dude, this thing's gonna be sick. <laughs> like the I'm just spell, late you're like, to the party, man. I'm you're just like, late. dude, this thing's gonna be sick. Yeah, I, I, I always just look at what Ash says. And I'm like, yeah, he's probably gonna be right someday. Yeah, someday is the key word there. Though. Eventually, <laughs> eventually, it could be a years away, but you know, whatever. Yeah, uh, but the skeleton spell. Uh, also dramatic increase in skeletons and they, uh, but they last. Okay. So, but they spawn over a longer period of time. Yeah. I, I got to see that to, to really understand it. Um, well, but... they get 26 skeletons now per spell. And, and what was it previously? Like five or something or 10? I don't know. It, whatever it was, it was 26. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to go drop a bunch in, in Sherbert Towers right now to just look at what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah, the same. I, I, got, I got eight. Yeah, I got eight max ones right here. Let's see what they can do. I'm just going to sort of drop them on the edge of the map. Or Wait, no, nah, I'll drop them in the middle. I'll, I'll see what happens. So, dude, there's <laughs> so much splash damage here. I don't know if this is going to do anything. but whew. Is it pretty crazy? It's hard to tell because yeah. they're right in the middle of a bunch of splash damage. But yeah, okay, so I see, I see what you mean by over time. Dude, this actually makes sense. They so, spawn, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so slowly over time it spawned. It still sucked in the middle of Sherbert Towers. Sure, but yeah. <laughs> there was a, too much splash damage. But dude, I think that makes more sense. If they all come up at once, they're going to get hit by a mortar. But they don't all, all come up at once. They come up slowly. Yes, exactly. I think that helps the spell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and think about it. Like, Skeleton Spell went from being the most, what we thought was going to be the most overpowered spell in the entire game when we thought it could yeah. lure the clan castle to, yeah, I know. to the most useless spell in the <laughs> so entire useless. game. So useless. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. what are you going to do with a few skeletons? That, you know, like, I don't know. You can always get more value out of a poison spell because. Yeah, two poisons is yeah, amazing. Poison, two poisons, you can use it to slow the heroes. Yeah. You can use it to yeah. kill the clan castle. You can use it yep. on skeleton traps. I mean, there's just so much usage. Hopefully this is enough to make Skeleton a viable alternative to taking that second poison spell. But I don't know. I'll have to wait and see, I guess. I, I don't know what you think, but I'm still kind of skeptical that because poison, I feel like, is just so much value, you know? It is. It's it's the perfect, like, carry on with you. I mean, you know, sometimes you, you might want to haste or whatever, but I think poison, yeah. you you can't go wrong. So yeah. how are you going to take how are you going to take the Skeleton spell, even if it is pretty sick? I don't know. Yeah, that's. I feel the same way kind of about Earthquake. I think Earthquake is a decent spell, but I don't know. To me, it's it's kind of like a... Uh, it takes a, a certain <laughs> level of, of intestinal fortitude to take an Earthquake <laughs> instead of a second poison just because you know the second poison, you'll always find a use for it, you know? Yeah, you, you just will. Just drop it on the always. Barbarian King if you want to, you know? Or the always, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'll get you out of it. it it'll get you a three-star more than like a random haste spell or a random Earthquake. For yes. sure. Yeah, yeah. But maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, would you use uh, poison spell farming? No? I, I don't know. Like, maybe to get that last DE or something? I, I don't... Oh, you mean uh, you mean the um, skeleton Oh, I'm spell? sorry. Skeleton, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, may, maybe I could try one in the clan castle sometimes. You know, that, yeah. that one extra. I got to have a poison. You know, po yeah. poison's so useful. It is. But, dude, I'm using them on some low-level goblin maps right now. <laughs> 
and they're pretty crazy. I mean, it ends up looking like if you okay, I just dropped seven of them, and it looks like you know a, a little bit of like mass witch. It's crazy. Wow, that, that's pretty. Yeah, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe you're on. I'm, I'm looking at it now too on my side, and I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe you're onto something. Maybe this is gonna be crazy. I don't know. It's like. It, we'll have to see it live in wars to actually yeah. see, but but yeah, yeah, maybe it has potential now. I mean, that's a lot. Twenty six skeletons is definitely a lot, but let's yeah. move on. Enough skeleton yeah. spell uh, talk here. There is a new level dragon as well. A new level dragon, dragon level six, not baby dragon, but dragon. Uh, yeah, and that's Town Hall eleven only two. So the new dragon doesn't look to be any different uh, visually than the no, other dude. dragon. It's it's the same thing. Yeah, that's a bummer, Where is right? It? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at them right now. Yeah, buddies. I got like six of them flying over. <laughs> yeah, dude, they look exactly the same. So I, I mean, don't know what happened there. Yeah, maybe we're, uh, I mean, maybe we're too spoiled by all the other new artwork, but you know. I guess. I don't know. I was hoping for a really, a really awesome looking new dragon, but whatever. Yeah. You know, new new level dragon, that's pretty cool. I mean, uh, we don't see many dragon attacks at Town Hall 11, so. No. Maybe that will change things a little bit. I don't know. Probably you know, not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably not they we'll should have made this they should have made the the big dragon like pink wings like the like the baby dragon yes, yes that's crazy yes, yes. what is pink in the game besides i mean i guess like the archers are kind of but, like, I mean, it is breast awareness month right? breast cancer <laughs> breast awareness breast I, I don't know i'll have to ask ash he's he's my go-to go. i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway. well moving on uh so i was i don't know how you feel about this speak but i wanted new level walls did you or are you are you cool with what we have Oh no, I think you should always have uh, more than you need, like... No, you know, no, 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 no. I wanted a new level to walls. That's, that's what, what I getting, mean. But did you? That, yeah, that's what I mean. I think oh. you should always have more than you need as far as farming. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, So, yeah. like, people people might say, like, oh, I just farmed my max walls. You know, which I did a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, I th I think if I if I had another level, I'd be cool with that, because it's just another goal that I'll never get to, but yeah. that's cool with me. I'd rather have a goal I'm never going to get to. Me too, man. I'm like, with you. Yeah, like I play a lot of PlayStation, and if you ever if you ever go into a PlayStation game and you look at the like the platinum trophy, most games have a platinum trophy, and it basically means do every single thing in the game. Yeah, nobody gets those. Like one percent of players get those. I think that should be the point, you know? Yeah, yeah, it, I like that. I like having. Yeah. I like having these really far off goals to hit. Yeah, you know. But I don't know. I'm probably. I think we're in the minority there. I think a lot of people feel like it's daunting and stuff, you know. So I don't know. But anyway, yeah. that's not what we're getting. We're not getting new level walls. We're no. getting 25 additional wall pieces. Yep. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I mean, it gives me something to farm. What do you? How do you think? What are you cool with it or? Yeah, I mean, I think it's crazy. Every time we get new walls, it's just annoying because going from one to. <laughs> whatever you're at it just sucks but yeah it's kind of fun it's yeah. kind of fun to do it again yeah it gives uh, people an opportunity to keep a, a level one wall too and that's you know that's what i have so <laughs> yeah. you do have a level one wall i do i have i'm totally 100 percent max well i'm not I, i'm 99.999 percent maxed but i do have one level one wall so that's dope just yeah. just for nostalgia so now you can do the same thing if you want <laughs> yeah i can Good yeah dude I, I think it's pretty annoying as far as like if anybody starts clashing in like a month from now Dude, like it's so hard to get into a base, especially if it's high level maxed. It, this just makes it even more annoying. But <laughs> I mean, that that's just how it goes, I guess. But you know, more walls, higher level walls. I mean, that's the other side of it. It yep. makes defense kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can see right now on both of our screens, we have the new, the full wall, 300 walls now. And it yeah. definitely adds a lot of like compartmentalization options. Wow, that was a that was a struggle. But uh, you get what I say. Like <laughs> yeah. you can add more little compartments within your within your structure. And since they did add the additional space to the map last update or two updates yeah. ago, I guess it kind of makes sense to add additional walls. Uh, so you know, I guess I'm pretty, you know, I'm okay with it. You know, I guess. Uh, so moving along here, we talked about the expo level five. Uh, now, there is a whole bunch of new discounts, uh, either in time or cost, to a bunch oh, yeah. of troops yeah, in defensive right. levels and yeah. upgrades. And I don't think we can share all, all of the actual <laughs> stats again. No. Uh, but we can go down the list of everything that will be cheaper, like I said, in terms of time or cost. Do you have that up right now, Beak? No, I don't have it up. Okay, Do you? I'll go through it then. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so wizards, uh, level yeah, six. That. There'll be a deduction in the the training time, a, a large decrease. Right. Uh, it dragon, is. Dragon. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. 
No, I just saying I saw it. It's it's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's All pretty dramatic. Them. Pretty dramatic. Yeah. Uh, dragons level three to five. A large uh, reduction in uh, in the time. Uh, baby dragons all levels and then as far as the cost goes on defensive structures cannons level 12 and 13 are much cheaper level uh level 11 12 and 13 archer towers level 8 and 9 mortars level 7 and 8 wizard towers level 5 6 7 and 8 teslas and level 2 3 and 4 expos so they're trying to kind of, it seems to me, they're trying to like bridge that gap between players who just started playing maybe, yeah. you know, in the last year or so. And then those who have actually farmed it up years ago, like, like we have. Yeah. So I think it will be like, like we kind of touched, touched on, on the additional wall pieces. Hopefully this will be a little bit less daunting for players who, you know, are just kind of getting started at Town Hall 9. I guess, man. I mean, things always get cheaper. Like, yes. if you remember, like, even, like, a year after we started playing, things would slowly get cheaper. We'd yeah. kind of get pissed, but, like, who cares? You yeah. know, it's good. It's yeah. it's good, I guess. I think, it, you, I think you need to do this. I mean, it does yeah. devalue all, everything that we've spent on, on these structures. Yeah, but like, who cares? At the same time, but you're right. It has yeah. to be a little bit easier as you as the game gets older and older and older. I mean, we're going on five years I think you do need to make these uh, concessions to people who are who, who aren't maxed out, you know? Yeah. So, uh, and for the more casual player who just doesn't farm hardcore, you know, day after day after day. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. wrapping things up here, yeah, we but... have clan war balancing. A few changes to clan wars. Uh, and they all have to do with either the clan XP or the war win bonus loot that you get. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll just list them and then you can kind of give your thoughts. Yeah. So, earn a partial war win bonus even when you fail an attack. And right. the war win bonus is no longer reduced when you're attacking lower level town halls. Right. That's pretty sick. You know, yeah. what's what's worse than getting like a 49% and getting getting no bonus? Yeah, I, th I think that's uh, yeah, I think that's good, and, and it helps out everybody. And you know what? Yeah. The thing with clan wars is you invest you know 47 hours into a clan war all for two attacks and yeah. you know some people can put hours of planning into an attack and if you like you said if you do get that 49 percent, it's just like not only did you feel like you let your clan down but you also have no loot to show for it yeah know? is it scaled or is it did you see anything about that like is it scaled on percentage or like what if no. you get a zero percent do you get anything uh no i think that you it just says partial so i'm guessing and i haven't looked yeah in the, in the build yet but I'm guessing that it's somewhere, you know, half of what it you half of what it was, and if you would win something around that area. Yeah. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. So. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. But you Some can of see stuff, that as we yeah. move on here, all these changes are geared towards, uh, really one thing. But I'll, I'll list the rest of the changes first. So, uh, tougher targets in war are now worth more clan XP to a max of 10 XP. Uh, so that's yeah. another, you know, uh, I think that ad that addresses a few issues. Number one is that, you know, it, it rewards people for hitting higher on the yeah. map. And yeah. two, it also helps out clans who are trying to level up who are brand new, I think, a little bit, you know? Yeah, which is impossible right now. How are you going to get to level 10? Like, it took... Uh, what are you guys? You guys are level 10 probably, right? We are 12. Yeah, we just got to level 11. Yeah. I mean, how long did that take? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like... A over a year for sure you know? <laughs> it's crazy yeah so that, that's good for everybody yeah i think it, just I mean, it doesn't hurt yeah it, it, infusing more xp into the clan world experience basically yeah. yeah yeah uh yeah. and and you know i think as far as the loot goes uh i think it's all really geared towards trying to lessen the downsides of attacking up or down like dipping or or actually attacking mm. up in war because if you attack up in war as a town hall nine say you're hitting a town hall 11 for two stars obviously yeah. you, you know there's a good chance or there's a decent chance you're going to fail at that <laughs> yeah. but the idea of actually getting some loot for your valiant effort is probably what they're trying to do here yeah and, and yeah. on the same token they uh they went ahead and they are rewarding cleanup attacks a little bit as well by not uh not giving you the reduction in uh in loot when you dip down mm. so, yeah that, that didn't make that? any sense yeah that didn't make any sense in the first place you, no. you shouldn't yeah yeah so, cool yeah. i mean that's pretty much that's i think that's the whole sneak peek it only took us about a half an hour to get through but dude it's so much stuff but ash was saying earlier you oh, dude. were saying earlier that uh -oh. this is one sneak peek that that's that's awesome it's not some, like broken up i got some bad news though 
What? <laughs> what? I, I, I forgot one thing. What did you forget? And I forgot probably. I, I think this is going to be one of the most. Uh, I think this is one of the most polarizing uh, things in the in the uh, in the sneak peek one, and I'm that scared. is bowler hit points decreased. Right. right. So bowler nerf. Yeah. You okay How much that? is it? I, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know either. I, I I never called for a direct nerf to bowlers, but at the same time, like I don't I don't think there's any denying that they're really strong. You know. Right. The hit points say they're 350 right now. What were they? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if we're supposed to talk about it. <laughs> uh, Supercell, that was Beaker, not me. <laughs> I, can't I cut be that out. Responsible. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, but no, I think that uh, I think that was kind of kind of a lot of people probably saw this coming, but. You know, mm -hmm. I think with all the new defenses, that that was all probably enough of the uh, nerf that they needed. But I guess yeah. the clash team would probably know better than I would. <laughs> yeah. So I trust I, I trust in them on this one, I guess. Yeah, I mean they they had they had too much health to begin with, don't you think? I mean they, they didn't even die usually didn't even die from a couple of bomb hits unless they were really solid, you know, bomb hits uh, and the healers weren't hitting them, stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I mean the so. thing is, I mean there's no denying their power when. No matter what type of attack you're trying to execute at Town Hall 9, you pretty much want yeah. bowlers in your clan castle, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think that was definitely something that probably need to be addressed. So I guess this yeah. is their way of doing that. And, you know, we'll see how it works out, I guess. Yeah, let's see some witches again, dude. Like maybe <sighs> maybe after this, the witch, I mean, what, what would it even take to get the witch as the go-to for like Town Hall 9s, for instance? Like you're saying. Well, here's like, the thing, right? So... I, I I'm I'm thinking maybe I misread somewhere here in the sneak peek notes that witches yeah. witches get a buff. I, I mean I thought I thought witch buff was coming, man. Um, and I don't see anything about that over here <laughs> on, on my end. No, I, I heard that too. I I think <laughs> I think we're right. I thought we were. Anyway, yeah. well, you know I, I think I, I hope something's so. happening. I think I, something's yeah. Yeah, we'll correct. We'll, we'll definitely add a. Uh, in our next sneak peek, we'll definitely add a uh, any updates on the witch. But yeah. you know, I mean, it's nice that what they're doing here. They're trying to give the Pekka some love, trying to give some the wizard some love. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. But where's the witch, man? Yeah, yeah, I know. It so, doesn't even get used. I, I bet if you, I, I kind of like numbers, and I bet if you if you were like, you know, sitting on the throne at at uh, the Clash building, you could look at the numbers of, of who actually uses witches. It's probably the least used. Exactly. I, I would assume. I mean, I they assume. have the stats. They have yeah, the yeah. clash team has access to the stats. I mean, they have to yeah. be seeing the the poor witch is like got to be least po less popular than the pekka right now. You know. Yeah, yeah. I bet. I bet more. Right. I bet more people use golems and pekkas, yeah. which shouldn't be because yeah. you know golems and pekkas should be like you should only have one or two, if any. You know. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean that's that's it for this sneak peek, but cool. There is a lot, a decent a lot, a decent amount more coming. I would say. Is that fair yeah. to say? You think? Dude, the, the, yeah, this is huge. Like, like I was just mentioning, you know, if this is one, just one sneak peek, and this is the, the first thing, there's a lot of other stuff. And I know a lot of the viewers out there, yours and mine and everybody, kind of need something to, to get them back interested in the game. So, yeah, you know, I, I do think this is going to have some of that. Uh, I mean, I know it's going to have some of that. So, yeah, man, I sure hope so. I sure yeah. hope that it, it brings a lot of people back. You know, I mean, obviously yeah. people know that... Uh, the clan challenge thing is coming so yeah uh, you know we'll have obviously more to share on top of everything else uh but you know the thing that we were talking about off air before this is usually the sneak peeks if you think about it like half of this stuff would be like two sneak peeks or three sneak peeks you know they'd be like or, additional yeah. levels to dragons <laughs> Ooh. yeah yeah <laughs> you know sneak peek in the two, past new mortar level yeah you know? that's how it always was yes. so if they're cr if they're cramming it all into this I mean, obviously, they're putting, like, months and months of updates into one here. Exactly. Is that good? I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. I, I'm glad there's some new stuff coming. So, you hey, it was too. good to talk to you about it, man. Ah, it's always good to talk to you, man. I'm glad you're doing yeah. well. I'm glad your health is uh, is back on track. And yeah, stuff. dude. Doing good. Doing Definitely good. Definitely been thinking about you, man. So, yeah, uh, man. Thanks. I guess we'll get to get together soon again, hopefully. Maybe uh, this update. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, dude. always good talking to you, man. Hey, you too, man. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. All right, peace.